are out there wondering who you are, why you're here, who is God? For the Christians, who is Christ? For the Buddhist, who is Buddha? The questions you need to be asking is, who are you? Why are you here? Find your purpose. No matter how small you might think it is, I promise you it's not. It's huge. Haskell here, Orb Central, and tonight's video is going to be a real special video. And the reason why, uh, I don't know why I haven't done this in the past, I'm going to take this little flashlight, a high beam, small, powerful flashlight, and I am going to, uh, you're going to see all the orbs winging by the camera, right? I'm going to go out there and I'm going to go, wham! And as soon as I do that, hear that? That's my bedroom feeling. It's going to shut off infrared, and it's going to turn into a color camera. So check it out, and when it does that, what's going to happen? No more orbs. So sorry for you trolls of talking about bugs and dust particles, because bugs and dust particles both would remain on camera. But when I turn the light on and it turns into a color camera, no more infrared, watch what happens. Oh, once. There you go. Oh, yeah. You probably didn't see them yet. A minute ago, they were rocking in front of the camera. That's the ones that I always called the infrared intelligent arms okay so here we go I'm just gonna go ahead and let it roll right now and out we go light circumstances here we are hopefully you'll see some good rockers by the time I get out there So what did you think of that? <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and you're going to see other interactions with the uh, me and the orbs at the end of this video. Have a good day. Namaste. That have had radical thoughts. Have been deemed insane. Have been medicated. Thrown into asylums. Singled out. What I'm here to tell you 
is the experiences that I've had throughout my life, and I know many of you can relate to this. I'm here to tell you that these beings are not completely human. I have learned not to be so homesick, but to realize that the universe itself is my home. Some of you are out there wondering who you are, why you're here, who is God? For the Christians, who is Christ? For the Buddhist, who is Buddha? The questions you need to be asking is who are you? Why are you here? Find your purpose. No matter how small you might think it is, I promise you it's not. It's huge. It's bigger than you could possibly imagine. It's you know, it's kind of like how big is big, how small is small, it's all comparative. But in comparison to this world, to the galaxy and the universe that you live in, right now, your individual purpose, you know who you are, is massive. Just by changing your thought process, linking those thoughts to your feelings, your emotions and choosing it, you choosing it, not allowing somebody else to choose it for you and then going along with it. No, you are not going to. You have to choose it for yourself. You have to go inside. cannot receive communication from directly. Not in the body that you're in, because it would destroy you. It would obliviate you. You would die. You would implode or explode. You would just... Your body cannot withstand that kind of energy. Not right now. Most beings on other planets, even they can't withstand that. Um, on the darker side of things, there are other entities and energies here that are out to destroy the human race, to turn them against one another, to cause them to fight, to anger. But know this. doing it for your country. You are in essence shooting yourself. You are killing yourself. And that is what they want you to do. That is what they want you to believe. It is not about country. It is not about government. It is not about anything. Those things will destroy you. They will not only destroy your body and your mind, but it will destroy your very essence, your soul. When you adhere to these things, when you believe that it is good to go into battle, when you believe that it is good to kill in the name of your country or in the name of your God, you are killing yourself. You are killing your own DNA, your own humanity. 
It is the absence of love that will kill all of you. Watching it, and I didn't really realize what it was. It's uh, called Starseed Awakening. Uh, am I crazy? You decide. That's the name of the video. Starseed Awakening. Am I crazy? You decide. Okay. Just to give it credit. Anyway. So uh, I don't know what happened out there. <laughs> Probably interesting. I don't know if I had any interaction with them. Um, I didn't see a darn thing. Couldn't see anything out there. No bugs, no nothing. You need to stop so. looking at your own individuality all the time. Alrighty, hey, there you go. Just it's good I, to do that. when I see this stuff going on right over my head are. in the cameras, I go, man, are. you know. <laughs> I, anybody that's interested, I guarantee they want to know this. So the there's more information I've <clears throat> found out recently too. Are not Shut this off. You are there's other information that I've recently found uh, out <laughs> about them, but I'm not going to share that right now. So just keep watching videos about them, not just mine. Watch everybody. You have a good day. <laughs> and there's the orbs. I don't believe at least my orbs are not um, in a demonic way in in any way. I, I don't believe that. I've used uh, Jesus Christ, the name again and again. It does not seem to make a difference. And here's a good one. Uh, no animals have gotten, like, has shown me that, that it's bad feelings. But they do get, like, you know, woo, look at that. And I'm going, what? I don't see nothing. So, anyway. One of the free results. Oh, I'm going to back that up. Okay. Couldn't surprise me, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I've seen it all now. I've seen it all. And I bet I'll be. I don't know. I'll probably be surprised again. <laughs> 